Hi, this is Mark, and welcome to another episode of Enhancing Human Experience, the podcast designed to help you get the most out of life. So in this episode, it's all about the rainmaker and putting yourself in harmony with the divine. And as we get into the episode, we'll kind of see why that's important in relationship to achieving what you want in life, achieving your vision, achieving your goals, that kind of thing, and why it's important to be in, in alignment with divine, with divine intelligence, with God, whatever you want to call that force that is really behind everything that's like the force of creativity and existence. So I'm going to read the story of the Rainmaker to you, and if you're not familiar with it, that is Carl Jung's story um, about how to do this, right? I mean, it's very, it has very profound implications for living an extraordinary life and getting what we want in life. And I've found this story told in a couple different ways. And sometimes it's just, you can find it online in many different places or in many different books, but sometimes it's told in, in a few different ways. And I like this particular way. And I'm reading today from do Less, Achieve More by Chin Ning Chu. And she was a really awesome uh, Asian. Well, she she's Asian, but she migrated to the United States early on in her life. She was a really awesome writer. She also wrote Thick Face, Black Heart, the, the strange title of the book, but it's absolutely amazing. It's all about like um, business tactics and mindset and achieving goals and dreams. She's even been called the Anthony Robbins of... Asia, right? She's really awesome. She has a bunch of stuff on YouTube and you can check her stuff out. But this is the book I'm going to read from today, this Do Less, Achieve More, Discover the Hidden Power of Giving In. And so here is the Rainmaker. I'm going to read it, then we can talk a little bit about it, and I'll throw in some other ideas toward the end here. So here's the story. There was a village that had been experiencing drought for five consecutive years. Many famous rainmakers had been called, but they had all failed to make rain. In the villagers' last attempt, they called upon a renowned rainmaker from afar. When he arrived in the village, he set up his tent and disappeared inside it for four days. On the fifth day, the rain started to fall and quenched the thirst of the parched earth. The people of the village asked the rainmaker how he had accomplished such a miracle. The rainmaker replied, I have done nothing. Astounded at his explanation, the villagers said, How can that be? After you came, four days later, the rain started. The rainmaker explained, When I arrived, the first thing I noticed was that everything in your village was out of harmony with heaven. So I spent four days putting myself into harmony with the divine. Then the rains came. The end. So that's the story of the rainmaker. And there, I think this is like one of the most awesome stories we can ever read for many reasons. And let's, let's talk about them here for a minute. So when, when you want something and you have a goal or a dream, one of the things that I think is most helpful, and I, I try to do this as much as possible, and this is a huge challenge for human beings. I know it's a challenge for me. One of the things that we need to always do is, is do what the Rainmaker did and always remember that we're being acted upon by a, by a force, right? We're not doing anything, so to speak. Many people have talked about this. Jan, John Rand, Randolph Price talks about his, this in a lot of his books. This notion that you got to realize that you're not doing anything. You're not making anything happen. You're not creating anything. You are like the, the channel or the conduit that it all comes through. Same with the rain, right? This is why the rainmaker makes this profound statement and tells the villagers, hey, I'm not doing anything, right? The, when I put myself in harmony with the divine, which can also be looked at in the sense of when I realize the presence of the divine within me or God within me, then I align myself and become in harmony with the divine and good things start happening, right? When we're out of harmony with the divine or when we do not realize the presence of God within us, the God force within us, not so great things happen, right? Life becomes difficult. We struggle. We, it becomes like an uphill battle every single day. No, regardless of what you're going toward, right? That the thing I like about the rainmaker is he didn't go there and say, Hey, I want to get in, in the mindset of rain, which incidentally is 
the way that other storytellers tell the Rainmaker story. And that's not necessarily bad because it, we do have to align ourselves with the feeling we will have once the rains come or once the um, job that we want comes or the ca career that we want or the relationship that we want. We do have to do that. But behind that and below that is putting ourselves strictly in harmony with the divine or with God, right? That's like the first cause. Anything else, it will just get us closer and narrow it. But if we don't have the presence of God within us, if we don't, if we aren't in harmony with the divine inside, nothing's going to work, right? No matter how many visions, vision boards we have or how many meditations or prayers we do, if we don't know that we are the, the vessel and the conduit through which God works or divine intelligent works, it's it's like our power source is gone, right? We've severed the link. And you can vision board all day long and visualize all day long and nothing will happen. As I mentioned, John Randolph Price talks extensively about this in his book, The Abundance Book. And he makes it really clear and he says, hey, the further you are from realizing the presence of God within you, the more difficult it's going to be to do anything you want to do right? To realize your goals, to see your vision come into fruition. And I think that is something really, really profound. All of the other manifestation masters talk about this as well, but you know, they, they focus on the feeling that you want to have after you, or the feeling that you want to have when you've achieved the results you want. And realize, I, I look at that as step two, and I look at this first part as being perceive the presence of God within you or the presence of the divine within you and get into harmony with that. It's infinite. It's infinite. It doesn't have any limitations. The limitations are only in our own mind, our own race consciousness. And that's why once we're in harmony with the divine, things start to happen really, really quickly, right? And the right things in the right time in the right place and right way. So that's like the foundational principle to achieving your goals and dreams in one and making your vision a reality. Speaking about step two, which is getting the feeling of the conditions or circumstances you want to realize, this is when all the major players, the Joseph Murphys come in and they, and they say things like, assume the feeling that you would have if you already had what you wanted, right? Whether it's a promotion or money or relationships or whatever, health, wealth, success, all of that stuff. Assume that feeling and he calls it the, the inverse Trans law of inverse transformation. And he says, hey, if the result will produce the feeling, then the feeling will produce the result, right? And so that's kind of this, this idea of getting into the feeling. Wayne Dyer also talked about it. And he said, hey, you've got to continuously contemplate yourself as being surrounded by the conditions you wish to produce. But again, all of those, all of those things have to come after our realization and our deep knowing that we're not doing anything, right? The divine's doing it, God's doing it, and we're simply be, being acted upon and kind of this conduit through which it comes. So that's the story of the Rainmaker. I hope that's been beneficial. I find it to be one of the best stories I've ever read, quite frankly. I think about it all the time. And you know when I think about it the most? When I'm out of alignment with the divine. And my life starts to kind of get difficult. And maybe you've realized this for yourself. If life's a struggle, sure thing, you are out of alignment with the divine. And so just kind of watch that and, fe and feel, feel into it and like get a sense for when life isn't working. And I bet you 10 to 1, you're out of alignment with the divine. So that's it. That's the podcast. I uh, thanks, thanks for listening today. I know there are a bunch of podcasts out there. So thanks for tuning into this one. I do appreciate it. Until next time, all the best, health, wealth, and success. Bye-bye.